And back here at home tonight at 5 o'clock. In Center Grove here, the big topic of discussion is the ongoing investigation into the school's head football coach. 13 investigates first reported this story yesterday, revealing that Center Grove Schools has hired an outside investigator to look into allegations of misconduct against longtime coach Eric Moore. Now, some students, parents, even staff accused the coach of abusing his power by bullying, intimidating, and harassing current and even former players. Our senior investigative reporter, Bob Siegel, says this revelation has triggered a powerful reaction. Bob? It really has. Since we first reported this story yesterday, we received hundreds of emails and calls and comments from Center Grove residents who want to talk about Coach Moore. Some of them said they, too, experienced harassment and bullying by the coach. But most of the people who contacted me in the past 24 hours want to tell a different story, a story of a man who is revered and considered the very heart of the Center Grove community. So many people want to talk about the Center Grove investigation. Eyewitness News invited them here to a park on the south side of Indianapolis where they expressed disbelief about the allegations against Coach Moore. People are just surprised. To be honest, I mean, I'm really kind of shocked. Kind of disgusted, very surprised. Former students, former players, parents and coaches, those who met here on Thursday morning, they all came for the same reason. We're here to support. We're here to share our stories. We're not here to pick a fight, but we will fight for our coach, and he can't talk, so we're going to be his voice. Aaron Holt is president of the Center Grove Gridiron Club. He and other parents say the allegations of bullying and harassment against Coach Moore do not at all match their experiences over the past 18 years. That He's been an amazing coach for my son. The toughness that this guy brings to these kids is priceless. He cares about the kids. And I've just seen a man who loves these kids and who loves this program. These former players told Eyewitness News they enjoyed playing for Coach Moore. And they say the coach gave them a lot more than wins on a football field. A lot of love, a lot of passion. Not only did he want me to succeed as a player, but as a person. I probably wouldn't have even graduated high school if it weren't for him. I played for him for four years and never once did he ever harass any of us. As the school district now investigates multiple claims of misconduct against the coach, his many supporters are left confused. None of this makes any sense. And they're also grieving. Center Grove, our school system is our community. And uh, he's uh, dedicated his life to it. And they want to remind people there are two sides to every story. One thing Coach Moore used to always say before every game, he said, I love you and I'm proud to be your coach. And we'd go through the tunnel. He says it every game. And it's our time now to say, we love you, Coach. This is your community and we stand behind you. What's so hard to understand is we are hearing such completely different stories about the same man. Some families say Coach Moore is the best thing that ever happened to their kids. Others say his actions resulted in emotional trauma. While school officials try to make sense of it all tonight, 13 Investigates has learned it's not just Center Grove Schools that has received complaints about Coach Moore. The Indiana High School Athletic Association now confirms it too has been getting complaints. Coming up at 6, I'll tell you about those allegations and the commissioner's very strong response. John, Andrea, back All to right. you. Thank you, Bob Siegel, reporting tonight.